Hello everyone. Um, here we've got some distilled engine oil. It's not clear. It's not clear. So today we're gonna try to bleach it, to clean it up, to bring it to the usable or useful condition with help of some simple uh, chemicals. I don't know how simple they are, but uh, it's possible to get them and clean clean the oil up. It's like a fuel, it's a diesel fuel. You can use it like that, not a problem. Uh, it's settled for a while, it's not, not stinky anymore. But anyway, if you would like to make it more transparent, we'll try to clean it up and compare our result with what we've got over here. So, um, what we have, we have a little bit of this distilled engine oil, and we're going to put it here. I leave a little bit to compare our result. He is 98% sulfuric acid. Um, I don't have a syringe right now, so I would do some approximate amount. So I added approximately 1% out of total volume and now we're gonna mix it, wash it. <clears throat> By washing like that we're eliminating the possible sulfur uh, that may be containing in our resulting fuel, also eliminating, eliminating odors, some carbons, polymers. So it's getting black. Usually you have to mix it like that. Not with the stick, but with some sort of apparatus. You have to make a big hopper with rotating shaft and something. So you're mixing for approximately 30 minutes. I'm not gonna do it like for the 30 minutes. Uh, we've got small amount and I believe everything is gonna react. Most of the stuff. I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. Leave it. a minute or two maybe less and then carry on with uh, second reagent I think it's enough now what you what we can see over here uh, there's some brown brown deposits on a glass, on a lab glass. So it's actually sludge or tar that been reacted uh, with the acid and became like a, like a solid, not solid but uh, it's more like a sludge and it's getting separated from the actual oil. Now we'll wait a little bit Just a few seconds. Now I'm gonna transfer it to this glass. Carefully trying not to get any tar, any sludge.
generally it would be a good idea to wait a little bit longer so all the solids would deposit on the bottom of the glass you can see now we've got our fuel it's reacted with acid now it's sort of black now I've got another ingredient this ingredient is simple baking soda we'll just get a little bit of soda and we're gonna see some reaction soda is gonna react with acid Now we mix it properly and leave it for a while so the reaction would take some time to complete. What actually happens after washing with acids, tiny particles of tar that's still uh, infused in our oil and our fuel they sort of floating in, uh, within the liquid when we're adding the soda soda reacts with all those particles and uh, because it's uh, uh, alkali it reacts with acid as well so uh, coagulates all those particles and they became uh, sort of heavy and locked locked uh, in bigger uh, bigger particles that can can be deposited or filtered out of the actual uh, actual fuel now we'll try to filter it and see what we're gonna get our final result I use just simple uh, filtration paper even toilet paper would do, not a problem
you can see what's on the bottom So we'll wait. I'm not cutting anything so you can see the whole process without any tricks. So if you'll use a better filtration medium, you're gonna get absolutely transparent stuff or let it settle for half an hour at least before before the filtration, you'll get absolutely different result. So you can see the difference. You can see the difference. This one is lighter, this one is darker. This one is not transparent though. Not as transparent as I would like to, only because it didn't settle. I done it really in a really fast pace. But apart from that, it's much cleaner. It's not stinky anymore. And it would do the trick. Would be used. So the next step, we're gonna try another method with another chemical.